This is Two by Two, an epic adventure. Before Bilbo Baggins left the Shire, and long before four siblings stepped through a passage in a wardrobe, two friends embarked on an epic adventure of their own. J.R.R. Tolkien and C.S. Lewis met at Oxford and became fast friends through their mutual love of fantasy, religion, and writing. They praised each other, pushed each other, and grew in faith and fame together over decades. Hearing news of Lewis's death, Tolkien famously wrote to his daughter, So far I have felt like an old tree that is losing all its leaves one by one. This feels like an axe blow near the roots. Wow. So here's the big idea. Some relationships change us in ways we won't even realize until we look back. A true friend's love and loyalty last a lifetime, sometimes even blessing you after you die. Like the scene on the cross when Christ asked the disciple whom he loved to care for his mother after he was gone. Quite a responsibility. Yet from that hour, the disciple took her to his own home. Praise God for good companions. May we realize the joy they bring and give thanks when we think of them. Remember how Paul gushed over his Philippian friends? God is my witness, how I yearn for you all with the affection of Christ Jesus. John captures the sweetness of our bonds, closing his third letter, Peace be to you. The friends greet you. Greet the friends each by name. He doesn't call them saints or brothers. He gives the disciples the endearing nickname, the friends. So as we conclude our two by two study, let's remember some wisdom from session one. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their toil. For if they fall, one will lift up his fellow, but woe to him who is alone when he falls and has not another to lift him up. So here's the big question. Who are your traveling companions on your journey home? So follow along with this guided study at biblegeeks.fm slash two by two, and may the Lord bless you and keep you today. Shalom.